Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. Alright, I guess you're all ready for the next matchup. It's the rematch in between. Carl Anthony Towns and John Morant of the Grizzlies versus the Timberwolves. The series is now tied up 1-1. Of course, we have a bunch of those players that are really having a bunch of work to do. And now they're not done yet because they got a lot much things to carry. Now it's time to bring it over to Target Center for the next game of the matchup. Who will win the third game and break the tie series? We'll find out after the game is over for the final quarter of the buzzer. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Cloud is all fast up here in Minnesota. That means we are here in Indianapolis, Minnesota. It's time to see who can take the first game winner in between the Wolves or the Grizzlies. And this basketball game is going to be even more better than the play here in Minnesota for the first time ever since they haven't made the playoff season at that point. Right now, the broadcast of me and Son of Peace, along right now, is David Aldridge. And of course, we got Bob bunch of players ready to go. Here's the A. Thank you very much. We all know Anthony Edwards went first overall in 2020. His teammate Carl Anthony Towns said, I know what all those pressures are like. You're the number one pick. If any other rookies do well, there's a threat to the throne. But with Edwards' confidence in his talent, you get the sense he'll be just fine. Guys, Thank you, D.A. Anthony Edwards looking for his pursuit tonight. And the lineups are being occurred. Key matchup is John Morant and D'Angelo Russell in the point guard position. On the other hand right now is Carl Anthony Towns against the other player that calls for Jonas Val Steven Adams that pushes off here tonight. Taylor Jenkins has already been playing for his second season with the Memphis Grizzlies, but now this day can be the next step to make it away through and all. At that point of the time, it's just nothing that you want to know. It's all that we have pressure in mind. The tip-off is up, and, uh, and uh, Memphis wins the tip-off as we pressure things up here in game three, all fueled up and ready to go. John Moran has only scored some couple timings on the board here since game number one. And for their team, they have already won the first game with 1-0. How do you think that John Moran will be playing here for tonight? I'm pretty sure he's gonna like go for go for another one because he, all of his time of his work, most of the Grizzlies fans really love John Moran. And because of Steven Adams, they may have a higher ranking D here for the players of, to play on defense this time. Anthony Towns is off to Russell for three. It's rebounded by Jackson Jr. Jackson Jr. has received his first rebound here in the game in the third game of the season. Now, here's Brooks. Rolling over to Moran. Goes right to Bain. Back to Adams. Back to Morant. Shoots over a wrestle, and a layup drive is good. Layup drive, always going to work out better at that point, but John Moran is always a player, but he's on a higher ranking streak. Rookie, and then he moves up to one to go for a pro to an all-star. D'Angelo Russell makes a drive, and they are on the board. Russell has already got placed against the Memphis this season, four games in a row. 31 points, average of six, and also with the uh, strong rebound, it's all they had that they play in mind. And this goes for a three-second violation on Jackson Jr. It turns it over to be Minnesota Timberwolves ball. Yeah, it looks like it's too much to go through. You're not going to uh, stay on the paint that long. When the whistle is called, you get the free second violation. Beverly to Vanderbilt. Pounds. Layup drive is good. And they are tied up now by four. Vanderbilt takes the first assist in the game. And I doubt they will be changing it up here again here for game number three. 
Bain, and this goes offensive foul, goes on Bain. That will be his first, and no, no team foul is given up for Memphis yet. Oh man, that is just a very hard on that kill. Those those players definitely had one. With Bain, he always elbows him on, on him, but that will never change the result. You're gonna get better at that point, so you're not gonna waste any more time with the with the charge, and that's why you need to get better. Bain missing the drive after the block by Jackson Jr. Edwards finds Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt fighting rebound is Minnesota. Beverly for three, that's good! First three point of Beverly is on the board and they are leading up by three. Just the town count of the Wolfpack. They are looking for addition to rise up and also the team is going in between the lineup zone. Brooks in corner finds Jackson Jr. Back to Morant, three pointer for Bain and they have gotten it up as Morant takes the assist. Just a good place if you're on offense to try to work it around a bit, but not just anybody who wants to go from the attacker. That's how the key is to get better. Vanderbilt with a drive and it goes up with D'Angelo Russell. Just a great play here, just looking for a good offense, but now they need to try to fix things up a bit to try to work it around the other way. Moran to Brooks. Brooks back to Moran. Russell on the guard, Brooke rolls off to Adams, over Adams, and that will be Anthony Towns with the first foul on Minnesota. Steven Adams will head to the free throw line to shoot two in game number three. Steven Adams just really got gotten the pressure of it, but sometimes it went right over the backboard, and that did turn up to be a foul, was an easy call, but turned to be on them. Sometimes in real games, you're definitely going to have a hard pressure to take that one in the game. The first free throw gets off target. And a new change up here going to be for Grizzlies and for the Wolves as four players are checked out, four players are checked in. Anderson Jones, nothing in Hong Kong. And on the other team, four players are checked out, four players checked in. Reed McDaniels, Akuji, and McComb Beasley. Also known as, as M. Beasley, they can't be pronouncing things just like that with the mini Beasley. The second free throw is good. It will be one out of two for Steven Adams to pick up. Here's Russell. We're down to approach the minute and a half to play here in the first period. Russell going in the paint. McDaniels off target here as a great solid defense performed here on Grizzlies. Grizzlies gotten better at that control. Now they need to just try to uh, go back on offense to pick it up on the number run. Finds Adams. With that paint, back to Anderson. He goes up, and he makes a shot. That will be Steven Adams' first assist. And Anderson gets his first bucket of the night. The game is not that always that perfect here for the player, but that's all they need. Oh, Adams is making rejections out here. That will be the first block here for, for Adams. And two blocks returned himself for Memphis to pick them up. One on Jackson Jr. and one on Steven Adams. That's a great play on defense. Now Russell goes right to Okoji. McDaniels, his drives good. And that was Okoji with the assist. Again, Henderson. Back it over, is melting. Back to Steven Adams. Reed on it, right over to Anderson. Conchar for three, and it's picked up, rebound, and a no call on here. It's now Beasley with the rebound, with the ball, and now Reed will have it here. Five seconds, Russell makes the shot, and it's a three-point game in the first period. Jones will close things off here in the first period. It's 13-10. Minnesota on a hot start tonight here in game three. We'll see what they can do for the next part of the second period. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Uh, probably be more of a background.
and go talk more, give more help for the rotations because, you know, depending on what team you play, there's a lot of specific things you got to do to guard a certain player. Sometimes the defensive players can definitely answer that one back because we always know that Jackson Jr. helps his encouragement for all the players to help them out. But not to presume what their player will look like, but that might be one thing a lot of time. Tyreen Prince makes the first three of a bucket game. And they're up by six. Minnesota in wild of the Wolfpack. They already know that Tyreen Prince can definitely play with them. And they are all dumped with no questions asked. Jones up again. It's rebounded by Anderson. Anderson receives his first rebound of the game. Now Conchar against Tyreen Prince. Clark in a round. Roundabout goes in. Clark gets his first bucket of the game, and that will be Conchar with the assist. Here's Russell as Minnesota Wolves lead by four. Two for Russell. In and out. And I really off with Clark with the ball. Conchar. With a free on one attack, but it slows things down. Now it goes back to Melton. Back to Conchar. The Memphis is moving the ball here quickly in between his own. Five to shoot. Anderson gets a drive, and it will be a second bucket of the game. Anderson has really gotten a great better uh, solution out here on offense. Most of the players have it all. But there is one chance that they can definitely play it all like they did before. Jones against Russell. He passes off to Prince over Anderson. Uh, once again, another miss goes up by Wolves. Again, Anderson goes it off. And it looks like the Wolf mascot tell him to break the defense. Mellon backs over to Conjure. In a drive. It's good. Conchar makes the row, and the timeout is called by Minnesota with 3.02 left to play. They're tied up now, 16. Those players really have gotten a much better uh, situation that they need to rehydrate and get back in the game. That's what the response is to take it from the ever lane. And stick around for the next game as we will be having another Eastern Conference matchup as you will have the next matchup in between the two of the alley. If the Bucks and the Cavs here at Cleveland, Ohio, that will be the third game approaching on their way. And with the next game, we will be heading back over is the fourth seed versus the fifth seed. We already have seen the Mavericks and the uh, Jazz play here, but now it will be their time for Bulls and Sixers to make the match up here even more possible that they have it up here in front. And with that one, we will be sticking around here for the next game of Warriors and Nuggets at Denver. That will be playing here at the Ball Arena and for Raptors at home, playing against the Celtics at Scotty Bank Arena. New changes are being released here on the board as Anthony Edwards has checked back in, following along with the ever player of Patrick Beverly. All five players checked out, five players are checked in. Zion Williams, not sure if I remember this, but that's all they have. A solid D by Jackson Jr. and he will have the ball right in the way. He has his second rebound of the game. Now he dishes off to Moran. Jackson Jr. outside. Inside the next paint, Williams. He goes right back to Payne. With the drive over again, and it's rebounded by Vanderbilt. Great solid D here, just has gotten much better here for Vanderbilt. Perhaps no foul is picking up on Minnesota. Only foul reaches on Carl Anthony Towns. Vanderbilt off to Edwards. He goes inside. Vanderbilt for outside of lane. Finds Edwards. The two-pointer can't get it to go. Number rebound is on Williams. And it will be two minutes left here for the first half. Bain back to Brooks. Back to Moran. Moran, this off to Jackson Jr. This is off to Moran, and the ball is stolen. Great steal here for Vanderbilt. Also with that play of the effort, turned out to be just terrific on D. Wolfpack still trip, still an even score. Towns against Moran. 
over Morant. And the ball gets it back here for Morant. That is number first one. That's his first rebound of the year of the game. Brooks backs it over to Jackson Jr. He goes up. Shot in and out. Minnesota retrieving himself to bring it back on offense. Beverly on Morant. This off to Anthony. Towns up again, and they lead it up by two. Anthony Towns gets his first one bucket, and that goes right into the first assist here in this game. That turned out to be just like anybody. Brooks for three, gets it back in there, and they now have it cut up by one. Brooks first three, just have it all down here on the board, but now they need to really step it up in between. Edwards over Brooks, rebounded by Jackson Jr. Jr. has to be received three rebounds here in the game in the third game of the season. Brooks outside, goes right to Moran. Moran, Brooks, fades back up to Jackson Jr. Now Moran in the drive, watch out below, it's Moran with the slam dunk. And they are just on the board. Beverly against Morant. He goes in. Inside. Great D by Jackson Jr. Five seconds to play. And it will hold the ball as the first half comes to a close. It's 21 to 18. This is outstanding ball without all the efforts they take. And for those pressure on the players, they know they have it all. And we will send you down right over to David Aldridge on the sideline. David? Yeah, but Carl, they made a run there at the end. How did that happen? Uh, we didn't do a good job closing the half. Uh, we got to contain them from not making shots. Uh, you know, we just got to do a better job. We'll see if we can do that. Thanks, Carl. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. We'll be right back after this. Don't go anywhere in the second half. We'll begin after the break. Time for the recap in between the Wolves and Grizzlies of Game 3. That's it for today. Let's head you back over to Minnesota Target Center to start the second half. And we welcome you back here at Target Center as we start off the third quarter. Memphis Grizzlies in the transition to BB behind as the series is tied up by one. We're pretty sure that we might be uh, seeing the biggest game changes here tonight, but it might be very hard enough to go right in between the alley, uh, in the zone, outside the attack. It might be very difficult Try to figure it out. Beverly inside. Over around Jackson Jr. Rebounded by Vanderbilt. Russell for three. I'll never miss by Minnesota. Russell's getting a lot of pressure out there because the defensive players are working their way around a bit. That's why they definitely did show up without even stopping the pressure. Bain with the fade. Back to Adams. Again. Brooks. Dish off to Adams, over Vanderbilt, and a drive shot in is good for Steven Adams. As Dylan Brooks will take his assist in this game. Dylan Brooks, not just the only man himself that wants to just try to make those leap change off score, but that's all I have, taking pressures here in the lane. Russell making a drive, and he is up to take it again. Six points in the game. Memphis lead by three. Brooks again. He only has received his first assist of the game, and now he does it again. And a drive is good for Morant. And shot, foul, and one. That was all it took out for Morant to make it the single time. As for Morant, he will head to the free throw line to shoot one. As D'Angelo Russell receives his first personal foul on Minnesota. Taylor Jenkins really got to show him off here before. 
That's what they do. They wanted to make it quick and easy. Morant hits the free throw. Right now he has seven points in this game. Here's Beverly. Hasn't scored yet there so far. No rebounds and no assists yet. Reed to Russell. Around Adams. He gets it right in the lane. And this one goes to another defensive breakdown. Players can definitely just can't get enough timing. They really can't be late. They can't be treated. But you don't want to leave them alone. Moran back to Brooks. Back to Anderson as the screen will be on Brooks. Not will be taking here tonight. Four to shoot. With a shot, goes up, he makes it in. With a shot clock violation, almost to be expired, but they still have it unbound to try to avoid it. They definitely did, and all the player definitely did have it all with a chance. Three for three. Good, that's another three-point basket for Minnesota. D'Angelo Russell with the assist, and they are trailing by three. Wolfpack need to regain control, but that may not be enough timing to go right through here. Great pass, and that was Moran with another assist. Anderson receiving a sixth bucket game. In the points, Burley knows his strategy, but that's all he has been roared out. They've done a great passing technique. Edwards on Brooks. He goes again. Rebound taken by, Bro by Brooks. Rebounds in transition turned out to be just in between by the Valley of Memphis or Minnesota but it may be very hard for them to try to work their way around. Bain drives and he makes a shot. Another two point releaseman has taken up here for Bain and it's got seven in the game. We're under two minutes left here in the third quarter. Reed with the screen, backs over to Reed. He goes inside, drive, good! That's another two for Reed. Reed has been really dominating effort but now another one is putting up the assist on D'Angelo Russell. Minnesota trying to figure it out a way to get right in the defensive zone work effort. Adams back to Brooks. Brooks back to Bain. Six on the shot clock. Finds Adams over Reed. Another miss by Memphis. Adams can't hit, hit the layup drive. That's because of all the players have put up a defense. They did it again. Reed with the screen. And goes right into it. Morant got a piece of it. And a rebound is picking up by Anderson. We're under a minute left to play here in the third quarter. Adams will dish off to Morant. Screen coming for Adams. The drive is good. That will be another two-pointer for Morant. Nine points in the game, eight in the paint. Really gotten better into him into the release spin. He is looking for his patient to try to work her way around to head to the second round. McDaniels on make on Adams. Back to Beverly. 30 seconds to play in the third period. Reed over Adams. Another miss by Minnesota Timberwolves. And it's Morant with the ball. This is off to Adams. Back to Morant. He scores! What a drive in pursuit! 11 points for Morant and Adams with the assist. Just got a look at that, that play. He is way, way open out there. Not just anybody, but only Morant receiving his, his pull so far. Oh, he didn't make the half court shot. But that will do for the third quarter. It's 36-27. Fourth quarter is coming up after the break. We'll be right back after this message. And with the chance now, it's time to present the State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'm glad that the that Memphis is pulling up on their pursuit. Their way of their locking of their run can be a tight run. But that was Morant that pulled them with the best drive. And thanks for the all-player for the assist, Brooks knew it. He definitely did well. One quarter left to play here in the playoff position. 
and we will be back here for our next game to take the Eastern Conference matchup of the Cavs and Bucks in Cleveland. Moran right to Williams. Now he rolls off to Jackson Jr. Over Prince, makes a drive and an arrows roundabout, going with a spin back leg with the fade, fadeaway shot. Actually, you may, you may have to call it with a spin and fadeaway shot. That's uh, that's what the little bit on the arm. Carl Anthony Towns gets it back in the in the paint. Now the scoring quarter is being drowned again in a summary. Yeah, because of what they have done, only three for Timberwolves had turned out to be in the first period. But the other guys, they have definitely have done it a lot much better, but they have, have already picked up on their way. They wanted to get that back. Moran for three. Good! That's the number three pointer for Memphis. It's 41-29. Wolfpacks are in are in definitely taking a loose of the loosing of the of the court on, on a strategy to go with offensive defense. But now they're going to call timeout here with just under four minutes to go. And if you're sticking around here for the Stanley Cup playoffs, I will be back here to return here after the first round is complete. But we're not very sure, like after the third game or the fourth game, well, um, it's, it's in between our, in, the, in the Richmond zone, but I'm not going to know what will happen if there's a choice here in between the range. It can be very difficult for us uh, to figure out the scheduling time. Well, there may not be anything that we would like to know. Some changes here for Memphis and for the Minnesota Wolves. On defense and offense, as Okoji is checked in, along with Melton. Towns on Clark. Who's up? Oh, and it's Clark with the steal, the blocking. Not a block shot, but the steal picks it up again. Nice job for Clark. He's like already putting up a board. He just knew it right away. He says, give me that. That's what they have done. Williams, what a shot release bit. And it's Williams with another stunning run. Russell against Melton. Russell inside, Jackson Jr. taking a deliver hard impact here on defense. They really wanted to sell things down already. They cannot be pressuring things on a defensive breakdown. They really got to pursue their run. Williams fades, finds Jr. Jackson Jr. with Russell, and that shot's good. Jackson Jr. gets his spur bucket of the night. And they are working their way around to try to pick up a 2-1 lead series. Town against Clark. Going in. From the paint, no good. And he's fouled by Brandon Clark. That'll be his first personal and first team foul releases on Memphis. Now that Carl Anthony Towns is at the free throw line, he will be shooting two. The first free throw delivers him. Towns hit the second free throw. Only 2.37 to remain in the fourth period of the third game. Here's Williams. Bounce pass to Jackson Jr. Backing over is Melton. Fade back right to Jones. Shot clock down to six. Williams over Okoji and a shot is hit off the rim. Wow, release minutes of this shot can is, is very difficult. Now the player they do you know may really have they have no effort to pursue their drive, but that was hard. Once again, they missed the number three pointer and they couldn't answer back. 
two minutes left to play in the fourth quarter, and now this is definitely turning out to be a nightmare on Minnesota. Yeah, because of all that happened here they, that they had played, they lost in overtime against the Hornets in the regular season, and now they're going to have to, like, try to sing again on the top. They are just not picking up the pace. Oh, D'Angelo Russell almost made a shot, but they was in and out. Jackson Jr. with the ball, back and over is Jones. Back to Williams. Screen on Jr. Six on a shot clock. Melhead right to Jones. Jr. with the shot. Oh, he makes one! As a shot clock turned to be a buzz, but it's not over yet. Yeah, you can't give up on the player. They really have gotten that much uh, much better with the appreciation. Towns finds Vanderbilt. In and out. Dion again for Jackson Jr. Okoji misses one. And it's Milton with the ball, and they will have to try to close the gap up on the run. Jones back to Milton. Now he goes right to Williams. Most of them bounce pass to Jackson Jr. Backing over is Melton. Fades. And it will have to close the ball with Williams. No good. Releasing the back zone of Jones. Backs over to Williams. Does it again. Great deny by Carl Anthony Towns. Wow. And once again, they couldn't make the shot. Russell with the ball. Backs over to Beasley. And that's will end the run here for Minnesota in game three. With a deep three, won't go. And the final score releases 47 to 31. Memphis breaks the tie series and leads it up by one of 2 1 in the game pressure playoffs. And now it's time to close things up. Standing by is David Eldridge. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much, Ja. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. Coach let us play with a lot of freedom. Everybody has the green light, so I mean, there's no no reason to lack confidence when you have a coach who believes in you um, every step of the way and lets you go out there and play your game. So uh, we always just preach, you know, keep shooting, make or miss, and we're behind you, coach. You all look like a confident bunch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, all right David. Thank you very much. And with all the player this game, that goes out to be New Balance player of the game, John Morant. Yeah, it looks like John Morant definitely did have it all. He's definitely uh, putting up a best run of his highlighting performance run from regular season to postseason. And I think we will be seeing him if he can make it for the first to second round. Now let's present the three star players of the game. Let's take it from Son of Beast. You start off first. Thank you very much. First star goes out to one just gotten a little bit in between the range here. But this one calls for Jaron Jackson Jr. It turns out one block, two turnovers, and just an assist that he has brought up here for the game. Five rebounds and eight points of this game can be a little bit true off the bat. But not to worry how Jackson Jr. did. He always has his recovery. He's playing great. Let's take your take on you, Mifo, with number two. Number two, we go out, is D'Angelo Russell. He also receives eight points, but now he has taken three assists here in the game. Not just anybody who has played hard on this game. That was all that puts up respect. And for your take on number one, that goes out to your player of the game. Yes, and I know that John Moran was already at picking up here his game. He didn't waste any time right now that he didn't want to go outward and try to make a run back to try to make a rally in the angle. So it was all on him. That was his player that he had chose. And right on the interview, he knew he could do it. Well, and that's it for the game. Their final score has already been re reducted here for the third game. And with that being said, me as Mifo and with Son of Beast are gone. This has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs. And coming up next will be the Bucks and Cavs at Cleveland, Ohio for the Eastern Conference first round of the playoff series. We'll see you later here on the other side when we come back.
And with that being said, peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22 dial. Thank you for watching and see you all next time. Have a good night of the Wolfpack of Minnesota along with the Grizzlies of Memphis, Tennessee.